Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I recently cleared out my tent and there's a whole bunch of space left. So I didn't want to waste the time and available space. So I decided to see if I can grow watermelon inside my tent. So uh, I got this watermelon plants here. There are three of them for $1.50 at a local nursery. So uh, since it's so cheap, it's worth the test. My system here is a one I made myself and these were used for lettuce and basil and stuff and so today we are going to put these watermelon plants in there actually I'm, I'm just gonna do one because watermelon can grow quite large and they crawl all over the place so one is all I need so what we need to do here is take this out of soil clean up the roots fill the bucket up with nutrients and then we'll add these guys to it so let me show you how I clean up the roots. So we're going to use a water hose. Just remove it out of here. And then we'll use a hose. Okay, that's one of our plants here. And we have a total of three, so I'll probably place one or two of these in the garden and then use one for my hydroponic. This one seems like the best one, so we'll use that. I'm going to rinse it off. Okay, this one's ready. So what we'll need to do next is fill this bucket up with some water. Okay, um, I, I measured this before and that's about two and a half gallons. So I'll go ahead and pH the water and then add some nutrients. What we're gonna use as nutrients are these. So it's gonna be five milliliter per gallon. So let me pause the video, test the pH, and then I'll come right back. Okay, everything is ready. I have set this to pH 5.9, added the nutrients into here, 5 ml per gallon. We're ready to go and place this into our tent. So let's go do that real quick. Okay, this is where the plant is gonna sit. It's, uh, it's running under my solar pump uh, right there. <laughs> so the, this pump here is using the light to trigger the power to pump air into the system. So it actually, it actually works quite well. See, there's some bubbles in there. So. And the light I'm using here is the Endomax CMH150. And I find that this is the only type of light that I have that would work with the solar pump. And my T5 doesn't work and my LED does not work. So <laughs> there it is. So um, we'll come back soon and I'll update you guys when there's some progress. All right, guys. Today has been exactly three weeks and the plant is doing really, really awesome. Um, I ran out of space inside because I'm using it for an experiment. So I had to take this guy outside. And so here it is sitting there on my raised bed. The solar pump is getting a good amount of sun and it's, it's actually blowing a nice bubble into here. To there. Uh, the water is pretty low because uh, the plant drank it up. 
and I actually have to refill this one time already so uh, um, I may have to refill it a few more times but uh, look at that it's, it's doing really nice I'm getting a lot of new growth and uh, hopefully we'll get fruit very soon because I see a few flowers already trying to form but yeah that's the progress in three weeks we'll come back in a few more weeks and update you again alright guys it has been three and a half weeks now and the watermelon is growing really nice and the solar pump is working really really well when the Sun is up and the plant is just grown amazingly and it started to fruit already look at this you see there's one right there I think there's another one somewhere but uh, anyway that's what it looks like in three and a half weeks uh, I will come back soon and show you another update Today has been exactly four weeks and the plants are still doing really well and today the fruit has started to form flowers check this out you see here so the fruit has a flower on it and I don't see a lot of bee activities so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pollinate it ourselves so if you look at these these are the female flowers because it has a fruit underneath and these here that don't have a fruit underneath those are the male flower so usually they'll open at the same time so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take one of the male flower uh, let's let's see if we have a better one well we'll just take this one and then we'll take it over to the female flower and then we'll just rub it in there and that is it that's how you pollinate your watermelon alright so we will be back once uh, this fruit has formed and I will update you alright guys today has been exactly 31 days and let me show you what's going on our pollination worked and I got a really nice watermelon check that out that's so exciting so there's one there and I have a few more there's one right here see that one there that one pollinated as well and there's one right there and then I, I just started to see a few more here's one right here so uh, there's a few uh, watermelons already and I think I'm not going to allow this to fruit anymore so I'm gonna uh, chopped off some of the vines because uh, if, if the plants are just too small and if there's too many fruits they're not gonna get very big so uh, see these this is one vine here but there's nothing happening with this one so I may chop that off later uh, there's this vine here that goes there and then there's that vine that goes there so um, I'm only gonna keep two vines and then uh, cut one off so that all the energy can go to some of the fruits that are here so um, that's it guys so um, 31 days uh, I mean I bought the watermelon from a nursery so I kinda skipped the starting seeds process um, which uh, gave me a lot of uh, uh, head start alright there you have it guys growing watermelon in hydroponic is very easy you can do it inside or outside we did start this inside but uh, I I had to use a space for something else so I took these outside and it's just sitting outside in the outdoor and it's doing fine I have my solar power pump here that comes on when the Sun is up right now the Sun is uh, over the house so it's covering this area so there's no Sun really so there's nothing going on and this container is two and a half gallons and I refilled it two times so uh, the total time for this 31 day it took uh, about four and a half gallons and here's how much water is left so I need to refill it soon but uh, yeah that's it I'm going to end the video here we got fruits and uh, all the good stuff so uh, if you guys want to see a follow-up of me harvesting this later in the future then uh, make some comments and let me know if there's a lot of people that are interested and I will make a follow-up video Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this out and uh, please like, comment and subscribe.